Now let's remove the lone reverse piston and return spring. You do this by removing the snap ring located here. To remove the snap ring, we will need to compress the return spring. To do this, we're going to use the universal spring compressor. Using this tool is really not that hard. Its design and purpose is to compress the return spring, relieving the pressure off of this snap ring. To demonstrate the use of this tool, we're going to use a direct drum from a Turbo 350. First, you will need to remove this snap ring and all of the clutch pack from the drum. Then install the spring arm shoes in the snap ring groove that help the clutch pack in. Compressing the spring arms, install the tool. Then set the pads on top of the return spring cage. Now adjust the pads and lock them in place by tightening the wing nuts. And this is what it should look like. Now you're ready to compress that return spring. Turning the knob clockwise, run the screw down, compressing the spring cage. Now be careful here and don't run the screw down too far. This will distort and damage the return spring cage. Compress it down just enough to give yourself room to release this snap ring. Simple, huh? Now to remove the tool, just reverse the process. Notice how the spring compressor is installed here. The pads are installed on top of the return spring cage while the spring arm shoes install in the lone reverse roller clutch snap ring groove. Once you have released the snap ring, remove the return spring. Next, let's remove the lone reverse piston. But before you can remove the piston, you will first need to move the parking pole.